Well, hello everyone and welcome to the allotment tour at the end of August on quite a dull day. But we have had some rain, which is a bit of a blessing. And as always, kicking off with the rhubarb bed, the uh, teddy bear, bear sunflowers have been whittled down to just one. Uh, they succumbed to a virus, so we probably won't uh, grow those again. Mind you, some on the other part of the allotment have uh, done reasonably well, so it might be just depending on the area. Popped in some pen stems, which is a kind gift from uh, somebody. And we got some wallflowers in there. We've basically got them dotted in a few places. They're just uh, uh, nursery bed areas uh, for where they, uh, when they get planted out to their actual locations later on. We still have some potatoes over there. We're getting near to the end of those. And this is the uh, strawberry bed. We've got our ever bearers at the front, which are actually being a lot better than um, than they were last year. I say last year they were kind of on their last chance, but uh, uh, this year they're seeming to uh, uh, give us something, a little bit, you know, a bowl of strawberries every week. So we've got some leeks going strong in there. Our leeks are doing rather well this year. So the bean wigwams have managed to uh, stay upright in the, uh, the storms that we've been having. Uh, Thankfully, I, uh, after last year's lesson, I've uh, put in these extra posts and uh, lashed the bean wigwams to them, which seems to have been enough. There is a slight lean, um, but uh, nothing too detrimental. They've certainly been producing quite well. In, well, patchy, as the, the yellow variety, um, better than the green. And of course the uh, berries, the gooseberries and black currants are now over. Sweet candle carrots, um, when they're not being bounced on by the foxes, uh, are actually rather nice. And the blueberries have been putting on lots of new growth. I'm looking forward to the uh, autumn colour on those. So when we, uh, the potatoes have been coming out of their pots, we've been um, popping in some uh, French beans. We were a little bit late with that idea last year and they got had by FOSS before we had any beans, but uh, hopefully we're quicker this time. And we've got some uh, spring onions in uh, a couple of the pots now. So uh, that is the next thing to be putting in the three remaining pots when we harvest. So courgettes and another <laughs> patch of wallflowers. Yes, courgettes have been doing um, reasonably well this year. It's not been because of the weather. It's not been uh, ideal. So the tail end of some French beans. I say we've just um, chopped down half the bed, more than half the bed just left the residues and planted that up with a cover crop. Just have a quick look at the uh, orchard area. As the, some of the dahlias have been fantastic. I'll see those later. So we did pull up one of the salsify and uh, discovered that it was pencil thin, so we're assuming it's not ready. Um, so uh, the thrill of discovering what that tastes like is uh, yet to come this year. So we've got various things going on. Tomatoes, marigolds. So we've got a um, spinach is planted in between the uh, cover crops here. And we've uh, our best cluster of leeks. We still haven't harvested any leeks, and they really look like um, they could do with it. So I think we will actually. So this is the uh, fallow bed this year, and we've got our cabbages at the front here and Brussels sprouts at the back. 
they're doing really well. So Peach Peregrine has uh, bounced back after uh, the summer prune, except we've lost another horizontal on the right. It really doesn't like that right hand side for some reason. So uh, I'm going to try and train along some of the new growth. So we've got another Pike's Peak, a late entry um, in this little bed here. With uh, I really like this cosmos colour. And we have more marigolds and tomatoes. The tomatoes are thoroughly enjoying being up against the shed and that sort of uh, heat trap that they get there. So the uh, main Pikes Peak um, has uh, drooped over, got a bit of a battering. I, th I really thought if I hadn't lashed it to the uh, um, Peregrine's post there, I think it would have been a goner. So the flower area is a little bit uh, over now. Well, apart from the, uh, the teddy bear sunflowers, which seem to rather like it in that spot. Uh, the peppers. Going well, we've had uh, a few early fruits off those thanks to a branch being snapped off in the storm. And the Bug Hotel's got plenty going on. Um, Waldo has uh, decided to uh, thornless blackberry has decided to shoot out over this way which uh, last year was a bit of a mistake because we know that the fox is like going that way and uh, they managed to snap that off so I need to do something about that sooner rather than later. Here's more wallflowers. These are actually where they're going to end up. So they're in situ. As so the dahlia cuttings this year have, have uh, put on some lush growth, but no flowers yet. And so that's the uh, white perfection there, looking rather grand. And the pluot is, uh, is recovered from its pruning. So we have some pak choy down the front here, and more on the other side. And uh, strawberries, um, uh, here we've got strawberries and raspberries. The raspberries polka variety um, has been providing some fruit in its first year. So the super column plums and that rogue cherry I've given them a pruning. This one here is a, <laughs> I don't know, it's a, a curled around a lot. I had to put in an extra support, try and straighten it up. It's hardly column-like. But I'm glad to see I managed to do that before the storms came. And the sweet corn, we've started to uh, harvest. There's uh, plenty of dyed back uh, silks there. And parsnips, they're finally going well after taking a little bit of uh, persuasion. So this is going to be our fallow bed uh, for next year. It's got some red cabbages down the end there, which will be coming out gradually. And our tomatoes, just letting some lettuce uh, go to seed here. Whether we'll cl uh, collect it, I'm not so sure. There's a new lettuce down here, some cover crops, kohlrabi, some more peppers, quite a cluster going on there, and here are our dahlias, oh look, the bee having a little kit there, this is Otto's Thrill, and it's, it's as big as my big hand and it's lasted this one's been like that for over a week so cafe au lait hidden in here is uh, lavender's perfection
So we've got some more courgettes and uh, we've got some butternut squash. They're not doing so well really because uh, um, we had we haven't really added anything organic to the the holes they were planted in. Some odds and sods here. We've got some beetroot there, and the lavender walk is is nearly over, but there's still still some flowers attracting some bees. Okay, coming up to the rhubarb again. It's looking a little bit flat. It's coming to the end of its uh, season, so the leaves are no longer glossy. So the tabery, I've actually got um, a couple of the uh, new bits of growth I've gone and pegged in under the soil. I'm hoping to get a couple of new plants so that we can actually have one on either end of the uh, support structure rather than one in the middle. Right, and there we go. That is the plot for the end of August. I hope everybody's keeping well and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.